I have a general question I'd like to ask. Sure. Are you the sure. guy to ask it to? Sure. Yes. Now, my name is Ken Dixon, by the way. Nice to meet you. I'm Mark. Mark? Nice to meet you. Um, my question is, why don't you study Dover first before you apply for Otter Trick REA permit? Uh, because we don't think that the issue that water wells first is driving is... Pardon? Uh, we can't hear you. Sorry. Have we got a microphone? No, we, Speak up then. We have looked into the issue. Uh, the water wells first is, is describing. And uh, so far we haven't found any evidence that uh, it actually is as it's being described. Uh, and uh, in addition to that, any attempts that we've made to speak with, uh, well, we haven't had any formal complaints about it, uh, about our wind farm there. And uh, we, uh, any attempts that we made informally have not been responded to. So um, we're proceeding with Otter Creek because we don't think that there is an issue uh, to deal with. Have you ever been out in Dover to have a look? No, sir, not personally. Well, why don't you go out to Dover Township and have a look at the mess you've made? Uh, go out into Dover and talk to these people who have dirty water. They came out of my town. They're from Toronto, Montreal, they don't care. Right. Are you well, Mr. Cartier? No. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I, that's, is, is that bring that water up. Let's this bring the clear. water up from yeah. Dover Township and show these gentlemen this is what Mark. happens Mark when Saint they pile drive into our bedrock. Yeah. Mark St. Pierre. Have a little drink of it. Dr. Coby says Bay it's line. likely safe to drink. <laughs> Give him a glass. Have a slurp. Sure, sure. And I think the reps said I'm the test line. they've done so what far have not You're not taking our water. Wait a minute. You're not taking our water? Why is that? So what tests have what they done? Do what are you going to do with it? Yeah, yeah, do with yeah, it? We want you to understand that this is what these people are now left to drink it. I understand You're saying that this is this issue hasn't been brought to you? No, you don't understand there's a concern. You see this whole community? You see this whole room? You see this water? Mm -hmm. this you see this sign? Home that fostered, Look at this what, sign, Mark. Yeah. Foster. Do you think that this is acceptable? Look not. at this no. sign, no. Mark. Look at what's the Why sign didn't say? Yes, ma'am. Why didn't you invest? I understand. This is a letter. Did you don't care? Sorry, that Kevin. Lonnie McNaughton, our MPP, wrote to Kevin, the Minister of Energy, Chris Bentley, back in 2012. Wait, wait. Sorry, 2012. Kevin. Let him talk. And he wrote to and the Minister of can. Energy, our own MPP. It has been brought to my attention by a constituent that the recent construction of wind turbines near Mitchell's Bay, south of Wallsburg, is contaminating his well water. As you are no doubt aware, the construction of foundations for wind turbines in this area involves pushing steel beams deep into the soil. This action has evidently disrupted the aquifer and caused the otherwise sweet well water my constituent to turn murky and unpotable, now no longer drinkable. At this time, no further analysis of water has been made. Nevertheless, no amount of filtering has been able to clear this water supply. Apart from the obvious requirement of clean water for his household, my, also, my constituent also needs clean water for his business. In the above instance, the contaminated water has been witnessed by my constituency assistant. Our MPP's assistant witnessed this. In August of 2012, this has been going on far too long in our community. Minister, I bring this issue forward at this time to give you notice that this deep foundations required by wind turbines may be causing unforeseen problems with rural water supplies. This has been known in this industry. This is why this community has pulled together here tonight to make it very clear to you gentlemen who do not live here who are not faced with drinking this water, whose families are not drinking this water, to give you this well-deserved award of the Trojan horse. I'm not accepting the award. You don't have to accept it, but our community, it gives it to you. Thank you. There is a common message that our community has. Yeah. Yeah. And for all wind developers who come here, and for the Canadian Wind Energy Association, mm -hmm. Clean up the mess in Dover. Stand accountable. Do not think that Canadians are going to fund an industry that destroys Canadian aquifers. 
This will be your Waterloo, North Chatham, Kent. The community that you see here will grow a hundred times more. Overnight. These people will be here the rest of their lives. You guys are going to haul ass as soon as your turbines are up. We're, we own and operate the wind turbines, so why is the project? Are you going to be here personally, have your kids drinking this type of water? I don't yeah. know. So right. 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 you don't yeah. give a damn. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so you don't. Apparently you yeah. don't when you turn around and say that you have had no word. Our MP knows, our MP knows that you don't. Anything that happened no, no, no. in Dover, when there's a letter right there, but you haven't received anything? Is that your answer? Come on! You're not a chair! Our MP knows it's that not, you guys you just hear, I want you to hear, he's not addressed to him. He won't accept the letter from a member of parliament, of a provincial parliament. It's a letter from a member of provincial parliament. He won't accept it. Why not? <laughs> because they won't accept responsibility. What, That's Kevin, right. What what we will accept, Kevin, is if you can give us some documentation that explains to us how this works, we'd be very, very happy I'm to sorry, give it to our you guys, are, you guys are in the business. You guys are in the business of wind energy. You should know how this works. We've got it all ass backwards. Show me the money. We are in the business of wind farms. I think, I think farms. what needs to be done here is we need this same meeting with the people that give these people the okay to go ahead with this thing. Yeah, true. Theirs are the ones that need to we be told. We had a meeting with Bordelex twice, Waterwalls first. And in like December, Randy we made the offer, let's look at doing a joint study. Let's see if the wind farm is the cause. We want to know what the cause is because we live here and we use this water. We yeah. cannot use water like this. I know. I and got we the same problem. And we offered to Bordelex. A joint study with the caveat that anything that Sorry. is found would be, be published publicly so the truth comes out. And Borelex wrote back to me that they were not going to pursue that. And then I just heard now Mark Weatherall, the project manager, say that give us the studies. Give we us. Re give, us. We re give them the studies. Do you realize that the extras we have are world class? They're fully accredited. But we pay for them from our donations from the community. He's just asked us, all of us in this room, to fund his research. No. Yeah. No way. Yeah. We're not yeah. funding yeah. your research. Yeah. Do your own research. Do your own research. Yeah. Do your own research. Yeah. Do your own research. Yeah. And let's show you us your your responsibility and accountability we'll that in Dover, you're not going to make the same mistakes in Otter Creek. Kevin, uh, listen, I appreciate everybody coming here tonight. We're very happy to have you here. We're happy to try and answer questions. But this event, this forum, is for everybody to be able to have questions, to ask questions. This is a community forum. We are the community, are we not? We are the community. We're the my backyard, brother, in my backyard. We're not the only community, but we all drink water here, don't we? Did you hear that? There's a lady who wants to ask a question. Let the people ask questions. Why do, why do you say you don't understand our community's concern? We value water, don't you? Uh, yes, I do. We do. We understand the concern. What we don't understand is the mechanism that is being claimed that connects wind turbines with the, the poor wall of the What would you blame it on? Yeah. My water, My water was clear. Oh, we don't have any either, apparently. Well, no, no, that's not true. We're, we're, we're going through the process of talking to third party experts to see if there's any causal link between turbines, vibrations, insulation of piles, and, and, and for water yeah. qualities. So what do you do after you have the next piles in the ground? You need to know that. You need to correct the ones that you already screwed up. You screwed up my well. Now my property value is less than half of that is appraised at. What's your health worth? Well, of course, health Look, I'll probably die early anyway. But. Will you stop all construction until you clean up Dover? Yeah. 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 Figure it out before we die. And it ain't just Dover It's all these other windmills along the lake. All their wells are screwed up, too. So how many, how many, do we have an idea, Kevin, do you have an idea of how many wells within proximity? How many people do you have with hush orders? How many have you yeah. gagged? How many, how how many, gang? Gang? How many people, people are gagged? One, two, 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 one,
then so, you don't so, Mr. So, 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 not, so, Mr. So, not, so none of your lease owners have any problems with their wells? Not that we're aware of, no. Not that you're aware of? Kevin! Oh, no, 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 no one on Marsh Line? The answer is no. We don't have any landowners that have issues with, our, with, with their well. So if we produce <laughs> landowners that have well issues, that'd be news to you? That would be, yeah. yeah. So that means you're not really paying attention to the issue, and we brought this issue up how many months ago? No, that means you have contact. They have contact us. And you have contacted your lease owners that her water is good? Yeah, we contacted you. But how many times have you tried to contact Mr. Loria? Do you know about it? 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 Why would you look into it? Would you know about it? How deep are you drilling down? How deep are you drilling down into the earth? 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 How many years and who are, who does the study on the vibrations? Who use used to? No, we, we hire huh? the golden report. We hire experts golden. to do You do, do yeah. yeah. really? Yeah. 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 And how far yeah. down are you drilling around here? Six hundred forty feet. Six hundred forty feet. Because I don't want my house to cry. I don't want the lands around here to cry. No, I don't want my municipal water to be screwed up as well. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we do so you tell me, sir. What do you study? Excuse me, sir. We got a question. Yeah. The Golden Report, which you based your findings on and said it was good to go ahead, do you realize that's the wrong bedrock that you're testing? It doesn't fit this area? Yeah, it's not even based on Keller Point not, Black Shale. It's not on the Black Shale Keller Point Black So where, where is this uh, evidence that you speak of? Yeah. Uh, you know, ask the people yeah. in Dover before common sense. <laughs> before <laughs> they showed up in pile drive into the bedrock, the water was fine for decades. That, that's, that's, right? That's Rightly? That's a proven that's point. A proven point. Yeah. That's yeah. absolutely yeah. a proven point. Yeah. If, we were to, if we were to provide evidence that prior to the turbines being there, that people had cloudy walls, that would be that would be something you'd be willing to consider in your evaluation of the impact. Yeah. Yeah. With that. You've been on that yeah. farm yeah. 75 years. We're, we're, we're talking about decades. I'm talking, I'm talking seven decades into the eighth. Six uh, decades over I've here. I've drank that water all of my life. Mm -hmm. It has always been clean. Mm -hmm. And I happened to have an analysis done in 2012 yeah. before the last set of turbines went up. And I recently had another analysis done. And I recently obtained the results, like in late December of last year. Mm -hmm. And my uranium is up 500 times what it was before. My arsenic is up 20 times what it was before. My lead is up from what it was before, as are many of the other heavy metals and elements that I had in my water, some of which, there's like about a half dozen of which, exceed the Ontario drinking water standards. So, I said, I've been around here for a while, and I don't remember major explosions and all this type of thing that's taken place. The only major thing that's happened is within my general area, 1,540 holes were punched through my aquifer, and all of a sudden my water's cloudy, and the micro shaking of your windmill is keeping the micron, less than half micron size <coughs> particles floating in my water. Mm -hmm. And if you hold my water up, it's actually clear. But the elements in my water have dramatically changed. So if it's been okay for the last seven decades, what the hell made it change all of a sudden since the turbines have gone up? That, that is that's a great question. Oh, that's what we're here trying to investigate and try to figure out. How long? How long? Five times. You just asked us to fund your research. Stop, Otter Crick. We're relying on the engineering, the, the experts that provide us engineering information and science. Before you go ahead and do Otter Creek, this community's voice is very clear to you, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Do not go ahead, do not file the RA permit two weeks from now, do not pursue Otter Creek. Go back with the Canadian Wind Energy Association, find your own research money, study, very simply, put some seismographs in, 
See if you're generating a low frequency. I'm sure you'll find you are. Correlate it to wind turbine conditions with different wind speeds and wind directions, and you'll find an increase as these people are reporting to us yep. that particular wind speeds, particular wind directions have an influx in particulates. Do the research, show accountability to this community before you pursue another project at a much bigger scale, with much bigger turbines, 643 feet high. It is obvious that pile driving this area has been reported by the residents of this area. It's been reported that change in water quality is now before you, Adam. Yeah. The community has shamed your company. <coughs> well deserved. We offered to work with you in joint study, and you could have easily found that you were not the cause. But you have then put this back this onus on our community to continue our research and turn that over to you, which is what you asked, Mark. Yep. Do you think that's fair for our community? No. No way. No. No. Oh, no. How many of you people let, want let to dig answer. into your pockets and pull out a thousand dollars to help this poor corporation? No. 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 We're not going to fund their fund the research. We're, we're spending our dollars. To, to, yeah. What are you spending it on? Yeah, what are you spending it on? All we're, all we're asking is that you substantiate your claims. Yeah. I mean, the claim is substantiated I, right in front of your feet. How about you just prove our claims? There's no other how about possible that? reason to have uh, no. the cloudy water. No. 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 How about you just disprove our claims then? You know what the animal is. Can I ask a quick question, please? Are you folks, I would imagine, you're familiar with something called the precautionary principle? Right? Okay. These folks have pointed out that they had no trouble with their groundwater before you built your wind turbines. Now they have trouble with their groundwater, mm -hmm. okay? You would admit, I'm sure, that there is a potential link between your wind turbines and this problem with the groundwater. Certainly, timing-wise, it's very suspicious. Mm -hmm. The precautionary principle dictates that you must cease all development until, until you can de uh, demonstrate, if you can demonstrate, that this is not your fault. Yeah. Yeah. Why haven't they gone into Dover Township to see what's happening there? They say they do care, and they haven't got any proof. How Nobody's ever come proof? to my place to get a water. They don't go out there. Sir? Is there anybody in the crowd that these people have come and checked your well? Anybody? Excuse me? How do you say you've done research? I had a meeting with Borlax, right, Mark, in August? Yeah. With you. And we sat down, and I said, before you even consider developing Otter Creek, you must fix Dover. Uh, what have you done since August? We, we had a, a little gentleman's agreement. What, what the, have you done since August? Scott, we, we, these guys, these guys are suffering. Dover's suffering. What have you guys done since August? We are one thing. One thing. One, one, just maybe two. We've, we've tried to make contact with a landowner that we know has an impact. We're not getting calls back from that landowner. Pat, I thought you Pat, just said earlier that you, you didn't know about the Never heard of any complaints. Never heard of any complaints. We have never had a single correspondence from you said any complaints to our project. The only reason why we found out was through a media release. But you just said that you knew nothing about it five minutes ago. We don't know a landowner, our participating landowners. You know the problems there. And we've tried you know, to, we try to, 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 to talk to the landlord about it. What about the poor guys are all gay down the road from here? That, that has nothing to do well, with us. Well, let's, let's, let's they're having a problem. Okay. 2012. Blaze, Blaze, let me speak. They're having a problem trying to understand this issue. They don't understand the issue. They don't know about these wells. So let's, let's do the work for them, okay, as a community again. Let's do the work for them. Let's give them a suggestion. Send them on the right way. Let's give them the suggestion. It's really simple, Adam. Mm -hmm. Why don't you pay for a well survey of all the wells in Dover and make it public? And that way you'll know which yeah, wells are yeah. good, which wells are bad. And then we'll know. There it is, right there. If, if the experts were not telling us that there is no plausible mechanism between a wind turbine... Well, 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 let's it's not it's talk... He's talking... Who's let's just get this out. Let's get the survey. 
My opinion, my opinion doesn't matter on this regard. I'm relying on experts who are trained. Who pays them? Who are trained. Yeah, are trained. Yeah, the experts don't like that. Their experts don't like that. Texas unknown quantities. Experts are just under pressure. There you go. Why not fund a survey to all well owners in Dover so we understand the extent of this issue? The, how many people in this room want to know how many wells in Dover are like this? Oh, I do. Yeah. That's what we need to find out. Yep. And this company operates, and I'm sure you make a little profit over there. <laughs> we a little bit. We just a little bit on those. You make a little bit of profit. Five turbines. Right. Could you, could you, could you cut into your profit a little bit and fund a survey? Of all the wells in Dover, could you do that, Adam? Could you do that, Kevin? The claim is that installation of turbines, or the foundations and the operation of the turbines, is creating vibration that is making well water silty. Do I understand that correctly? Yes. Good. Yeah. Okay. So we understand that much. Testing who has poor water and who doesn't. How is that going to address? That claim. Well, the, you're, you're asking us back to do their homework again, everyone. No, I'm just asking you a question, Kevin. You're asking so it's re it's well, real, it's asking really you simple. Let's find happen. out where these wells have changed quality, and then let's look at some of the turbines that are near those wells, right. and let's see if they're generating any low frequencies. And so what if they are? Well, what we do then is then we correlate those frequencies to the influx of particulates that are coming in, and we'll see if we have a correlation. When you shake okay. the bedrock, and if the intensity of those frequencies is so low that it can have no effect. Well, you're making a statement you don't know because well, you haven't put a you know, box. Yeah. So we well, no, I don't think we are. I think we're. I think our experts are pretty good on this. Well, where is the? Where is your report then? Well, that report has actually been made available for North Camp 1. It was in our disclosure agreement that we did when we went through that tribunal in the fall. So, Kevin, There I is a report that, filed by Dr. Buckingham for North Camp 1. I hope everyone gets this and hope the press gets this. And I certainly hope that Mr. Norton and Mayor Hope will release that to the public. But Dr. Buckingham, who is an expert in this field, and he's well accredited from Scotland, he issued a report that the North Kent 1 wind farm, when the winds were at 13 meters a second, would in fact generate low frequency vibrations. So how many people here would like to see our mayor and our council release that report to the public? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's have our mayor and council not just release a report, the Gota report, which is critically flawed because it's not on this bedrock. Let's release the other side of the story. Yeah. So I, I've got another question for you, Kevin. Um, in terms of, in terms what of about that, Mr. Foss? Would you see that Mr. Norton releases the uh, go, uh, the uh, Buckingham report to the public? Could you ask Mr. Norton for us? I, uh, I'm not aware of the fucking game report. Okay, Joe, good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you know that when I talked to you on the phone a few months back? Kevin, I've got a couple, couple questions for clarity so that we're all on the same page here. Well, I, I guess your, we're not your, on the same concern, page. Your concern is that vibrations from our turbines are causing yeah. vibration through our piles to the bedrock and causing the bedrock to, some, to, to somehow cause siltation in the wells kilometers away. Turbidity. Is that turbidity? Yeah, turbidity. Well, well before we water. get to that point, no, Kevin, I just get back can you just to answer that question? And please answer that one question. Yes. Before. That's correct? Correct. And, and the fact that we're installing piles through the clay onto the bedrock, through that clay into the bedrock, into the bedrock. Depending on the pile, the type of pile. Into. Well, into. Depending right. on the type Convenient. of pile. Convenient. If you were to put that pile through the bedrock, or through the through the through the through the aquifer, the confined aquifer on top. That's the section that you're worried about. Is that activity yes. causing siltation? Yeah. We're, we're, we're worried about our change in water quality. So, yes, so if, we, if we came up with a foundation design that did not include piles, would your concerns be alleviated? Yeah. So I mean, this is this is the part where we struggle to understand no, with the experts that are. Kevin, let me finish because we put some. We put a lot, despite despite what you might claim, Kevin. We put a lot of thought and, and effort into trying to understand. Number one, not the actual concerns. Are. Two, is there something that we can actively do to mitigate the concern? No one wants to ruin a well. No one wants to, to cause that. Well, we have to make sure that what we're doing is actually causing that. 
there's something that we can do, that we can actively do, to mitigate the concerns that you guys understand to be an issue? Could, could, could you actively we might investigate we might Dover? Bring your you have five, we have, you have five right turbines so in Dover. Going, what, before week. you go any further in Albuquerque, could you go back to Dover? Are we allowed to talk to Mr. Lord? Would you want to talk? What would you like to ask? We would like to talk to him about 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 his well, about when did it happen, how did it happen, where did it happen, what what, what the situations well, are, what his operations are. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why we why we, why we well, need to talk are, to you are, and not are, Mr. Lord. Well, it's very simple because you gentlemen didn't you did not Lord, let him Lord, uh, know very simply if you're going to let the man have a copy of those test results. You didn't let him know what kind of study protocol you're going to involve him in. We don't even know what the issues are. Okay. We, we don't even know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If, we, no, if, Kevin, if, if someone's going to take if I were to go talk to a neighbor, no, I'm going to, I'm going to, talk to Adam, I'm going to stop, I am going to stop you there, Adam, and I'm going to, I'm going to hold the ground right here on this one. Listen up. If somebody comes to your home and wants to take your water sample, you have a right to know what he's testing for, and you have a right to a copy of those test results. That's and right. these guys have not told Mr. Laurier Cartier that he has that ability to get those test results back. I have asked repeatedly to these gentlemen, and they have not confirmed. Will you now confirm you right have... now that you will let him have a copy of those test results? I don't even. I don't will even you, know you have, Kevin, will you let him have a not, copy of the not... study protocol you want to involve him in? Kevin, I said this to you in December. We are not going to discuss with a third party somebody else's issue. <laughs> if Lori and Carter well, wants to talk about it, let me explain. Please, Kevin. Kevin, 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 Kevin Kevin, I told you, if you bring to us a letter signed by Mr. Cartier saying that he is happy for you or Waterwells First to represent him, by all means, we will deal with you. But you haven't produced that yet. Laurier Cartier has not come to us yet with a formal complaint. All we've heard... Laurier, are you in the Cartier, room? Yeah. Laurier, do I have your permission to speak on your behalf to these gentlemen? There you go. Okay, okay, at this, at this point <laughs> in time, at this you point in time, for, you brought it up, you got your answer. <laughs> at this point in time, if a person representing the wind companies, the municipal government, or the provincial government came to your door, how many of you would trust them? No. 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 We can't. Another party with you. Well, no, that's because you're in bed with him. <laughs> we can't trust Randy O. How much money? We can't even trust our own mayor. How much money do you I'm going to ask you something. When you go to bed at night, would you really, really want to take a chance that your family would have to live the rest of their life with that water, your kids, and your next generation on a farm? That I can never maybe raise another family there? That our fa our farms been our family since 1955. Would you really want to go to bed thinking that that I got to feed my kids that kind of water? No, of course not. Okay, so why, sir? Think about this. It takes common sense. I understand you're standing up for a company because you want a paycheck, but think about the rest. We got to live here. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Think about it. The animals won't even drink it. Yeah. I understand that there's clearly an issue with your groundwater. So, sir, oh, well, I'm not here for my responsibility. Well, 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 so well, you build another turbine, sir. Sure. Think about it. And why would you want to risk that? Uh, that Got your back, brother. To understand the groundwater and the principles of how groundwater and aquifer. principles. It takes common sense, sir. No, no common sense science. and science don't overlap, sir. Common sense and science. Common sense and science don't overlap. Yeah, according to Bordelax. Don't shoot, Karen. Don't Money, money, money. Yep. Right. That's what we're left with. Turn a blind eye, because it's the dollars that blind you. You mentioned the common sense inside. There's a the gap here, I think, is that your company is relying on experts to provide advice. Those experts, I suspect, are relying on past experience, fundamental principles, and perhaps numerical modeling. Okay. They don't live here. Models, right. as everyone knows who's ever done modeling, every model is wrong, some models are useful, none of them actually get right to the truth. If you want to know the truth, you have to come out here, do the experiments on the ground, analyze the water, 
as, as Kevin pointed out, analyze the water, get a distribution of, of, of contaminated wells, use a GIS program to plot it up with your wind turbines and, and look at it time and, uh, in time and space and figure out, is there a correlation here? If there's a correlation in time and space between the construction of the aquifer and the installation of your wind turbines, or the operation of your wind turbines, but then the operation will uh, cease. Period. Yeah, 20 year contract for 12 year old It doesn't cause an effect. That's statistically. If you have a statistical water. correlation that the two are linked, you stop operation until you can demonstrate that there is no. You owe us that much. Do we put profit before water protection? Yes. Uh, question? Sure you no. do. Yes. <laughs> yes. Really? No. Yes. It Prove shows. it. Prove it. Yeah. Prove it. Go Prove look it. at the well, then you'll know. Prove it. Yeah. Prove it. But you guys see you already lied anyway. Because you, you said that you didn't know nothing about the dirty water. I didn't say that. I yeah, said you did. Yeah, you did. You said it in front had, of all of us. We have not had a okay. complaint from what Mr. You know about it. Because it was in the newspapers. And when we tried to reach Mr. Cosby. Yeah, but you should have just went out there anyway. No, we did study it. I can't walk onto somebody's property without just knowing, right? I'm sure you were scared to talk to him. We tried. This is what I'm telling you. We tried. We've called him. We've sent a letter of possibility. My writer's name is Gordon. 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 Gordon.